up guys, Flood Genie here, and today I'm going to show you how to download OBS Studio. This is a software which allows you to basically record any PC, any PC games, or if you want to record your PC in particular, like if you have a funny video you want to share to somebody, or you want to record for YouTube, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's get started. Oh, also, if you like the video, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to, to to my channel. If you want, if you want to see any other things you want me to do tutorials or any games you want me to see to see me play, please link it in the comments down below. Thank you. Okay, first off, we want to go to obsproject.com. OBS is short for Open Broadcaster Software. The software allows you to record your PC screen, as I said before. Okay, this link will be also in the description below. Once you're here, you wanna, you depending on which computer you have. Since I have Windows, I'm gonna click the Windows 7 Plus bar. Okay, this thing, this is about uh, nine. It's a nine point. It's nine ninety four point one megabyte. It takes about thirty seconds to a minute to download. It's very fast. Um, I'm gonna wait for this to download, and I'll catch up to you guys. Okay, guys, it's now been downloaded. Okay, and since it's now been downloaded, you wanna go to your downloads. Once you are here, you'll see it is right here. You wanna click it. It's gonna do a pop up which is asking you if you want to make changes blah 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 you click yes after this you'll be here once you're here you want to click next i agree this is the program folder you can you can browse it you can put it wherever you want i just recommend you just leave it to download where it usually does click next once you're to this screen what you want to do is personally i would say just leave it as it is if you want your camera just to be a little bit better, uh, you can click this, but for me, it just saves memory and save to just, personally, I just choose like this since my camera is okay. After this, you just want to click install. Since I already installed it, I just don't need to do it again. Okay, great. After you install it, it's going to have a shortcut up here, and so you just click finish. Oh, also, there might be, there would be a box when you finish. It'll ask you to run uh, OBS soft, the OBS Studio. You, if it's check mark, it'll just automatically open. But if you dechecked it, it doesn't matter. You can just click here on the shortcut. Okay, ignore that. So when you're on here, it'll show there's a black screen, right? You, you want to reduce YouTube videos, not not just darkness. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, you want to make a scene. The scene is like a folder where your videos are stored, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I already have one. It's called Verse Video, but if you want to make one, you just click this plus sign, and you just name it whatever you want. Like, uh, just like name a video. See, it's, it's there, but I, I don't want it. If you want to take them away, you just click delete, and they'll just remove it. Okay. Once you are done with that, you could go to the sources. On sources, you can click this plus sign, and I'll show you a few things you can do. You Right now, you want to record your screen, right? Okay. So, you want to click display capture. Display capture, you just click OK. And now, see, it just... Uh, Different any different display. I really doubt it. Click uh, capture cursor so it'll show your cursor and see infinite and infinite screens. I love this. You just click OK and now it'll just now it'll just record whatever. So like if I uh that if I let's move this it's gonna move as well. I'm dizzying. If you like uh basically minimize like how much your screen will show. I don't want to touch it right now because you know. Okay, now since we're on the display, we want to go to settings. When your settings, I'll go to output, and we want to and we want to go over here to recording, streaming. You guys could do, but uh, I don't really stream, so I'm not gonna go into that. 
in, in depth with it. So um, we're going to focus on recording right now. This is for beginners. Basically, you want to make a folder where you could like do YouTube videos, or uh, your videos basically. I just, if you want to do YouTube, you just name it YouTube videos or whatever you want. Just click browse, like make a new folder on the desktop, like just make a new folder and just rename it, find it, like go to the desktop, f find out, see like I named it YouTube videos, you just click here, you select the folder, ta-da, end story. Since now it's, uh, I clicked it, you want to go to recording quality, just keep it same as stream. This is the a very quality, it's basically compatible with everybody. Okay, so it's very good quality, again, it's good. After that, you want to go to recording format, is keep, it'll be automatically to FLV, immediately change it to MP4. It's very good for, it's compatible with all types of computers, I would recommend this. Okay, so if you're done here, just click OK. A little extra thing, if you want to like, do a face cam, whatever, you want to go over here to video capture device. Click here, just click OK. It'll show your camera. I'm blocking it right now since I don't want you guys to see my face yet. Again. And so just click OK. And you can just move it to any side. Just make sure it stays in within this little screen here. Don't let it go into the gray area to cut off your face. Uh, so, yeah, there's your face cam if you want to see what your face would be in the video. And yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, uh, share with anybody you need if who needs to wants to make a video, YouTube video or videos in general. Okay, this is uh, Flid Genie. See you guys later. Do do we do do we.